Hello, this is Pavel with a Visual Basic uh, exercise. This is a chapter six, uh, project one from the Visual Basic textbook. And uh, we are going to calculate a few things actually. All right, so we are going to calculate uh, three things related to caffeine absorption. Uh, it is stated that the caffeine is absorbed into the body 13% uh, each hour. So we will assume that a person drinks 8 ounce cup of coffee containing 130 milligrams of caffeine and the caffeine is absorbed immediately. So that's an assumption we're gonna make to uh, do the calculations. The first calculation we need to do is um, to calculate the number of hours required until 65 milligrams, in other words, half of the original amount, remain in the body. So how long is it gonna be until half of the original of 130 milligrams is being absorbed? Secondly, we will calculate the amount of caffeine in the body 24 hours after the person drinks the coffee. So how much is left after 24 hours? And we will suppose that the person drinks a cup of coffee at 7 a.m. and then drinks a cup of coffee at the end of each hour until 7 a.m. next uh, day. In other words, that he will drink 24 coffees, uh, one hour apart. How much caffeine will be in the body at the end of the 24 hours? All right, so that's the, uh, that's the assignment. I already created a form which was given to us you know, in the textbook. One, uh, one button to calculate all three values. There is no user input, everything will be hard coded. There's three text boxes, one for each uh, of the assignment. This is A, this is B, this is C. And um, that's really all there is to the form. So let's get started. So I'll double click the button and I'm going to start coding. So I will need an integer that will calculate the uh, the hours. Uh, so I will just do dim uh, hours as integer and I will initialize it to zero. Now let me calculate the A of the assignment, which is the number of hours required until 65 milligrams uh, remain in the body. 65 out of the 130 uh, that is being uh, that is being, uh, you know, in, at the eight ounce of cof copy, coffee that the user or the customer drinks. So we will be calculating, we will be using the do until loop because we will be looping until there is 65 milligrams. So do until, uh, and you know what, I need another uh, variable, I'll just call it caffeine. Uh, uh, it's gonna be probably double because it's going to be you know, decreased in the decimal and in percentages. So that's the caffeine. This is the original. This is the original amount that is uh, in the eight ounce of coffee. That's uh, over here. Coffee containing 130 milligrams of coffee. All right. So do until until the caffeine is uh, less or equal to 65. So we will be looping as long as there's more than 65 milligrams of caffeine in the body, we will keep looking at, uh, looping and calculating the hours required. Now we know that uh, the caffeine absorbs 13% uh, each hour. So we will deduct 13% with each iteration for each hour we will deduct 13% of the um, current amount. In other words, we will deduct 13% out of 130. Then whatever is left, let's, uh, let's just say it's 120. Then the next one will be 13% of 120. Let's say then it's 100 left. So it's gonna be 13% out of 100 and so forth, as long as the, it is 65 or less. So our caffeine, we will deduct 13% and to deduct, I'll simply do minus equals 
and 13% to calculate 13% of the amount is caffeine times 0 0.13. This is 13% and we will deduct it from whatever is being held currently in the variable caffeine. And since we calculate in the hours, I will simply add one hour for each iteration. This will calculate the number of hours needed until the number the caffeine is 65 or or less. So now I will output the result into our I believe I named it the remain. Uh, I had a hard time uh, uh, naming these things. Actually, we just named it A, B, and C. But this text box is called text remain. How much is uh, remained, I guess? Uh, whatever. Text, the names don't matter this short exercise so much. But uh, uh, so the text of the text box equals the hours. And I will format it in a way so it actually says hours at the end. It, it will output the the number and then the hours itself. And uh, why am I getting an error here? Oh, I'm not. Okay, so uh, let me try that. So I click uh, calculate values and it says when will 65 milligram remain? in five hours and according to my book that's what they have as a, a sample value as well so that's correct okay so now let's do the B assignment now we start uh, the amount of caffeine in the body 24 hours after the person drinks the coffee so I will reset my caffeine back to 130 like the original value because now I'm going to calculate something else I'm going to calculate 24 hour period so I can do a for uh, for loop uh, where I as integer equals 1 I start with hour 1 2 24 that's we need to loop 24 times for 24 hours and again just like before I will deduct 13% for each iteration okay so uh, and that's that's all there is to it. you loop 24 times and with each iteration of the loop you deduct 13% of the current value of the caffeine and uh, I will do this one is one cup quantity that text that's the second text box on the form and I will format it to two decimal place, places so it's going to be format number and formatting the caffeine, formatting into two decimal places, and I will again add uh, a string. This, this time it will be milligrams, so it, it will say the number of milligrams. Okay, let's see if how that runs. And the cup quantity after 24 hours. So in other words, after 24 hours, you still will have 4.6 milligrams of caffeine if you drank 130 milligram caffeine 24 hours prior to that uh, and that is the correct value that's the same the textbook shows all right so and now let's do the C and once again I have to reset the caffeine back to the original value of the 8 ounce cup which is 130 milligrams and we are calculating a person drinking one coffee in other words, adding 130 milligrams for each hour for 24 hour period. All right, so um, again, we can use a for, a for loop for i as integer equals 1 to 24, just like we did before. And as just as before, we will decrease the uh, amount of caffeine in the body by 13%. So that didn't change. However, with each hour, at the end of the hour, we drink another coffee. So we have to actually now add 130 for another coffee. In other words, we drank a coffee, waited an hour, so it was 13% less, and then we drank another one. So we added 130 milligrams. And... Uh, now I will simply output it into, that was the 
hourlycaps.text and that equals format. Uh, I will format it again to format number. Oh, format number and that's gonna be the caffeine format it to two decimal places and I will add milligrams so again we deduct 13% with each hour that's the absorption but then we drink another cup so we add another 130 milligrams so let's see how that goes and if we did that we would have 969 milligrams in the 24-hour period so and these numbers are uh, matched to sample values uh, in the textbook so they're correct so here you have it this is a uh, the how long it's gonna take until something reaches a certain level so we do the until do until loop but then we loop 24 times because we know uh, we loop in a for 24 hour period in both of these so we could use four loop uh, and up to 24 which with each iteration representing one hour so i hope it helps you here are the values and uh, here's the code and um, i'll see you next time take care